So again, what is the application of OpenCV? This slide is just a very minute example of OpenCV applications. Frankly speaking, anything which comes under the heading of image processing or computer vision can be like handled with the help of this OpenCV library. This OpenCV, it is a very huge uh, giant library which can help us in development of any sort of image processing or computer vision library. Just to be like very focused and giving very practical applications, we have put some applications here. For example, OpenCV applications can be in the area of detection and tracking. So this detection and tracking, it can be detection and tracking of humans or maybe other objects such as we can say that if we want to have a system for controlling traffic of a city, we can use concepts of op uh, image processing using OpenCV for tracking different cars or the traffic objects. Similarly, we can work on this human pose estimation or human pose detection. This human pose detection can lead to very, very exciting applications. For example, I will be showing one application which is uh, developed by our own group, which is AR based cloth fitting application. So this is augmented reality based cloth fitting application. I will be showing you in later slides too. Medical Im imaging. This is one of the most important uh, field related to image processing and computer vision these days where concepts of image processing or computer vision are used to perform applications in the area of medical imaging such as brain MRI CT scan using these brain MRI and CT scans identification of brain tumors like uh, uh, malignant benign and so on similarly CT scans chest x-rays ultrasound and so on then we have this autonomous vehicles self-driving cars these are state-of-the-art things these days and it is quite common even in Audi cars which are getting uh, like uh, 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 quite uh, publicity these days similarly these Nvidia cars and maybe other um, bigger companies which are quite common in the domain of autonomous vehicles these self-driving cars they are making use of cameras and these cameras codes can be written using this OpenCV library similarly we have this camera calibration manufacturing production lines and so on so you can find out millions of millions of applications of computer vision and image processing which can be developed using OpenCV. Then we have plethora of computer vision toolkits available. Then why do we select this OpenCV? So for this particular answer, I have another uh, video lecture available where you can see that what is the comparison between these vision toolkits. But I will be giving a very brief uh, like uh, knowledge about these computer vision toolkits here. So let's talk about this VTK, VTK toolkit, which is an open source software system. But the focus for this system is generation of computer graphics and image processing things for scientific visualization alone. So it is more related to scientific visualization and then generating 3D computer graphic type things. Then we have this uh, Androve, which is written here. This is an open source plugin architecture aimed for image analysis and data processing. Similarly, we have this point cloud library PCL, which is a standalone large scale uh, open uh, source library for object detection and image recognition type things. And it is available on cloud servers. We have this uh, PIL, uh, which is again uh, related to uh, also called pillow image library. So again, this is a very famous library, which is used for understanding of image processing type things. Then we have this VXL, which is vision anywhere uh, or vision something library so this library is a collection of c++ libraries designed for computer vision research and implementation we have this boot cv or uh, we can say that this should be boof cv uh, which is a java library used for open cv or uh, for computer vision application we have this vl feet uh, library which is combination of different image processing things in the domain of or in the programming language of matlab so what should we learn from here is that there is a plethora of toolkits or image processing libraries available which are written in different languages and which are targeting different domains. But the good thing about OpenCV is that it can target multiple domains at the same time and it has different 
implementations available to be true opencv as uh, i will be discussing later on also opencv was written initially in c language and later on different wrappers were available for matlab for java for python and so on Thank <laughs> you.